Hello. Hey everyone, I'm Scott and I'm a vocal coach. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we'll be reacting to Leodra and her new song, Sound Fairy, accompanied by Andy Lianto. This is a reaction and an analysis, so I will be pausing every now and then. Just a heads up. Let's go. Deirdre is serving up some warmth and brightness into her singing by shaping her vowels in four ways. On the U vowel, her lips are protruded. On the E vowel, her teeth are clenched. On the R vowel, her mouth opens up slightly. And we can hear the movement on the word Nia. It's gradual and it's moving from one vowel into the next. In this verse here, Leodra is using her breath as an emotive effect. Her breathing is audible, and by adding breathiness into her sound, it's creating a sentimental impact on the listener. This is an artistic choice that Leodra has made, and it's really effective here. Let's talk about Leodra's belt. Okay, what is she doing here? Leodra belted that high note in a straight tone. She held onto it with stability and ease, released some vibrato before pulling the volume back in. Let's play it again. We also notice her lips changes and shifts as she slides down that scale. You can hear some nasality coming in and out of her sound, especially in that phrase muda menyera. The M and the Nya sound are both nasal consonants, and they release the sound through the nose. Here we can see Leodra ad-libbing. She's giving the song a sense of forward movement. And what I'm hearing are three different vocal colors. This sound has a lowered larynx, almost a woofy kind of sound. 
Yeah. This sound has a slight nasal twang to it. For this sound, Leodra is singing in falsetto with a high larynx. Leodra is demonstrating that she is a master at twang. She knows when to add it and how much she needs to lean into that sound. She uses it very effectively. That, that sound pierces through and it's adding power to her high note. I love how her hand pushes down. That movement is helping her to anchor her torso and her back muscles. And this helps her to stabilize that sound. Again, Leodra is very intentional about flipping into falsetto. She knows when to do it, and she does it twice here. This creates moments of surprise and excitement, and therefore it engages us. And it's also a great way to bring the song back home. Listen carefully. Leodra chooses to end the song with a few breathy O's and R's in the same way as how she started the song. Leodra performed this with so much grace, poise, and elegance, and I love what she represents beauty, strength. Power. I'm such a huge fan and I can't wait to see what she does next. And that's it for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for staying until the end. I hope you learned a lot of things about Leodra, her voice and her artistry. If there are any other Leodra performances that you'd like me to react to, please let me know down below. Before I go, thank you so much for showing your love and support for the channel. It really means a lot. As always, sending lots of love and good vibes to you all. Be safe, be happy, I'll see you in the next one.